Happy Sabbath. Good morning. The way to say good morning in Hebrew is Boker Tov. Anyway, I couldn't uh, do my massive cooking salad making preparation yesterday on the sixth day because I had a dental appointment and then something happened with my truck. I had to go to the mechanic. So basically, I just opened jars and cans uh, to, to prepare a meal. So let me see if this can, can reach. This is a glass dish. Okay, that's gefilte fish with horseradish, mustard, and lemon juice on it, and some black olives, and let's see, and some canned corn. Gefilte fish is a very big deal to prepare, so people, most people usually buy it in a jar. They do sell it frozen. But it's super, super expensive, like the, this, this log of it for like $12. Anyway, it's like, it's like a meatball, except um, instead of meat in it, there's, there's fish, two or three different uh, kinds of fish. And you don't eat it warm, you eat it chilled. And since cooking is not permitted on the Sabbath, then... Um, you make a lot of salads. Some people who want warm or hot food on the Sabbath, they leave their oven on starting from before sunset on Friday through after sunset on Saturday. But uh, I don't like doing that. And um, what's wrong with salads? Anyway, most anything you could eat cold, just uh, cook it the day before. There's like officially 39 different types of work we're not supposed to do on the Sabbath, including writing. Now, if you need to take some medication and you need to write down that you took it at a certain time, or if you need to give some medication to your pet or your family member and you can't write, what do you do? Well. I suppose you could, you know, type it in on your phone. But um, what I did, because I need to do something for my dog, he has a problem now. I need to do something for him like every two hours, involving special food and extra water and encouraging him to drink water by adding things to the water, like a little bit of canned pumpkin. Anyway, so what I did, I took a tray and uh, I put the dry split peas on it so I know what hour I gave him what I gave him. So like if it was 3 o'clock in the morning, then I'll put three little split peas there in the corner and I'll know, you know, that's when I gave it. And if I gave it at <clears throat> 5.30 in the morning, then I'll put five and a half split peas in the uh, this way, I'll keep track of when I'm supposed to give him his next dose or meal or whatever. And um, Sabbath is very interesting because of all the things we're not supposed to do. So let's say, let's say I'm walking the dog and I need to pick up his manure, his solid waste. I'm not supposed to tie a knot on the Sabbath. So, you know, because I'll take the bag, I'll pick it up, put my hand in the bag, turn the bag inside out usually and tie a knot on the top of it. So I'll just twist it. I'll just twist it if it's a Sabbath. So this is all very fascinating and very detailed. And if you ever wondered why um, Jewish people uh, become lawyers and doctors. I think it's because they're so accustomed to all these extreme details in the 600 plus commandments. And as we know, law and medicine is very detailed. I think that's about it for now, uh, except that I was discussing recently with my dentist because things don't always work out with crowns and other things they're doing in your mouth, I said to her, well, 
I know medicine is not an exact science. And she said, right. And then I told her what my pharmacology math teacher said in college. She said, mathematics is the only subject that can be proven, and everything else is just an opinion. So we have to keep that in mind. We have to help our doctors and dentists by asking lots of questions, and our veterinarians too, because they can't think of everything. Okay, that's about it, I guess.